I'm James George Lackis. I'm the Head of Communications at the Institute of Development Studies. So we spoke today about research uptake and uh, I was really focused on how digital has really been a game changer for all of us working on research communications. The things I took away from the panel were the level of um, buy-in that we still need to achieve around digital communications. We need to persuade people to think less just about uh, traditional publications and more about how they're using digital. Um, and I think also I was impressed by the level of enthusiasm there is for uh, communicating to achieve impact with your research. I think that uh, where we've got to really think hard is how we can try and make sure there are adequate resources for research communication and also how we can ensure that communications activities permeate throughout the whole life of the project, the whole project cycle, and aren't sort of done towards the end. I think there was a lot of acknowledgement today that that's a problem, but it was less clear how we make absolutely sure that uh, we achieve that um, and that we are, have resources available to achieve that. And I think what uh, has been particularly interesting over the last few years has been the way in which we've seen the importance of storytelling and narratives in trying to uh, achieve, uh, get people's attention. They talked a lot today about policy actors and policy audiences and everyone got very excited about uh, infographics, visual uh, data visualizations for example. Very fewer people talked about storytelling and uh, narratives and I think we underestimate just how powerful stories are for getting the attention of policymaker audiences so not just wider public campaigns which they're sometimes associated with but really engaging with policymakers and we have heard some great examples of that being done um, today and I, and I hope that we can uh, you know we can draw upon those uh, examples when we think about how to flesh out some of the research, research uptake strategies uh, as, that are form part of the, the, the GROW program. I think we're finding that Twitter is becoming more and more useful for engaging with policy audiences, whereas for us, Facebook, I mean, IDS has over 100,000 Facebook fans, and for us, it's a really important dissemination and engagement tool, but it's more useful when engaging with a younger demographic, often in the global south. It's not just a northern uh, tool. It's particularly um, useful in South Asia, and um, it's really good for engaging other uh, researchers in some cases, younger ones, and, and some policy audiences as well.